sun. Are you singing for something? Don't you think it's gone cold? No. Marika. What? The window. Peace and quiet until two, that's all I ask for. Oscar. Dream on, George. 56. St Oswald's Drive, sudden death. Received, on way. Received, George. Informants are Miss Alison Haggerty at the same address. Dead woman's daughter. Well, where are my things? Well, where do you want me to put it then? I don't know, on the desk out there. There you go. Got your plate. Yeah, it's been a very busy morning. It gets better after the first time. I have done this before. Yeah, but I was holding your hand then. Matthew, I'm fine. The job is custody sergeant, not England manager. You know where I am. <laughs> Alison Haggerty? Yeah. I'm WPC Data PC Garfield Sunhill. You'd better come in. Stuff to sort out. Funeral to organise. You'll want these. It's an empty one's by her. If Mum's in there, you can go and look. Have you found your doctor? What for? She's dead, isn't she? Could I have your doctor's number? Your dress book's in the hallway there. Doctor Nigel. Help yourself. How long has your mother been in there like that? I don't know. She was like it when I got here. You don't live here then, no? Moved out six months ago. She killed herself, didn't she? Well, we'll have to investigate before we can be sure of that. You know, I never thought she'd really do it. You ruined my life. You'll be sorry when I'm gone. Doctor, can I do surgery? How could she do that to him? Uh, oh, sorry, who? Paul. My brother. Got up, came downstairs, found her like that. It must have been a shock for him. Well, what do you think? He's 14 years old. Uh, where's Paul now? He's gone out. I sent him out, get some bread. She had nothing in. Is your father around at all? Oh, he's not here. Things to sort out, aren't there? Of course he's not here. Dr Nigel will be here as quick as she can. Look, do you think you could just wait outside, please? Oh, well, no, sorry. We have to stay here until everything's sorted out. Why? It has to be treated as a suspicious death, But I've got so much to do! What's he up to? Oi! Stop! Stop the engine, please, sir. Will you get out of the car? Stop the car! Go ahead, Debbie. We should blow the cobwebs away. We're chasing a male IC1 in a blue box in the mountain. Heading up County Street. Registration Charlie 503, Hotel Echo Papa. Sheriff Thanks, Tony. Turning right into Larchfield Close. Go ahead, Debbie. Right, can you cut the engine, please, sir? Right, can you get out the car, please, sir? Is this your car, sir? Yes. Not oh, you usually break the window to get in, do you? Only when I'm locked out. The key was in the car. See? Is that it, then? Looks like it. It's all excited just for a minute, Edda. Mike? Making an early start, are we, sir? Would you mind getting out of the car? Your name is? Roger Haggerty. How much have you had to drink, Mr. Haggerty? Not much. Not considering. Right. I'm going to ask you to take a breath test. Come on. Sarah Oscar from 561, receiving. Go ahead, Debbie. Yeah, can I have a car check, please, Reg? Go ahead. Charlie 503. The blinds are there. 
blow continuously until I tell you to stop. Just try to touch as little as possible up there, okay? She's a funny little thing, isn't she? Yeah, must be shock. Yeah, I just can't help wondering why she's so angry. Oh, that doctor won't be too long. <laughs> Don't give me your germs, George. Yeah, sorry. I wonder where the father's got to. Yeah, our last registered keeper of Roger Haggerty, 56 St Oswald's Drive. No reports. Did you say Haggerty? Thanks, Fred. Oh, yes, sir. 56 St Oswald's Drive. 561 from 79. Yeah, have you got the owner of the vehicle there? Providing a positive breath test. Mike's just sneaked into being drunk in charge, why? We may need to talk to him, re an earlier call. We may harm your defence if you do not Sarge? mention when questions. Sudden death, Debbie, at his house. George and Narika dealing. Dr Naidu. Morning. Was it you who rang me? Yes, I'm WPC Data. Come in. Morning, Alison. How are you? She finally did it then. Your father isn't here, I suppose. Oh, uh, well. Classic alcoholic family. Hard on the children. Um, in here, Doctor. How long is it since you've seen Mrs. Haggerty? About three weeks. She was a pretty regular customer, you know. You're right. It's true, my dad does like his drink. <laughs> oh. Bless you. Thank you. How did you get on with your dad? Sober, he couldn't be nicer. Even Thanks. drunk, he's all right most of the time. He's just a big kid, really. Can't do a thing for himself. Well, we're going to have to find him. Oh, he'll turn up. Come his dinner time. Do you want to tell me about your mum? If you really want to know, she used to drive me up the wall. Huh? Oh? I never really thought she'd do it. I mean, there's me and Paul and Dad. How could she do that? Antidepressants. Did you prescribe them? Yes. Any particular reason? Hard life. Difficult marriage. Very difficult marriage. But you don't really need a reason to suffer from depression, Miss Datta. How long has she been taking them? Oh, I don't know. Ten years? That's a long time, isn't it? Yes. Well, I expect what she really needed was a new life. But they don't come on prescription. Look, the tablets helped her. They helped millions of people. 85 from Sierra Oscar. Larkway Health Centre, Larkway Street. A disturbance. Did you say Larkway? That's my surgery. Hold on. Sierra Oscar from 181 receiving. Go ahead, Narika. Anything in this suspicious death, Reg? Well, it's not clear yet, sir. What with her husband being picked up for drunk in charge at what? Uh, well, 10 o'clock this morning. Sir, Narika's got the GP with her, Dr Naidu. Only it's her surgery that's just been done over. Any connection? We don't know yet. Is it OK for Narika to take the doctor back and leave George at the house? Fine. Keep me informed. Sir. The first thing I knew was herring back down the corridor, climbed over the desk and did all this. I couldn't catch him. Who was it? He's been in before with his mother. Teenager. About 13. Light brown hair. Wouldn't have it that you weren't him. And when I came down to see if he'd done anything here... Doctor, do you know who did this? I think it was Paul Haggerty. So let me get this right. You are nicking me. Yeah. On the morning my wife dies? Yes, sir. When I don't know what my kids are up to? That's all under control, Mr Haggerty. Please, just sit back and don't bother the driver. Why didn't you tell me she had cancer? It wasn't what killed her. Well, how do you know? Because I'm her doctor. Look, she found a lump, came to me, we got her into hospital, and caught the cancer in time. Did she have to have the breast removed? No, just a little lumpectomy. You could hardly see it. She kept on with the antidepressants, though. They seemed to help. Look, I don't hand out pills as if they were sweets, you know. Do you wish to exercise any of these rights now? No, no, I want to see the kids. Uh, this Roger Haggerty? That's me. Is he fit to be interviewed? Uh, what for? It's a drink drive. Uh, there's a suspicious death, June. His wife, Sue Haggerty, has been found dead this morning. 
Well, sir, A, he's pickled, and B, I've got this drink drive against him. Well, I'm going to need to interview him about his wife's death. Well, the drink drive takes precedence, sir. Let me know when you finish with him. Sir? You in charge? No, I am. Why do you think Paul called you a killer? The boy's just lashing out, looking for someone to blame. Looking the wrong way. Well, perhaps you could come to the station and give us a statement. I suggest you'd be better employed looking for her charming husband. Right. I require you to provide two specimens of breath for analysis by she me. She was always threatening it, advice. you know. I must warn you that a there failure are, to provide any one of these specimens may render you goodbye. liable to prosecution. Do you agree to provide two specimens of breath for I analysis? I can't understand why she would do that. I mean, she's got kids. Look, I'm sorry, sir. I'm just following procedure. You haven't heard a word I've said, have you? Let's just get this over with, shall we? Boss, you're christening! Get over! 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 You all right? Yeah, temper on him, though! What are you looking for Paul for? What's he done? Can I come in? What is it? Well, first off... Mike and Denny picked up the father, drunk in charge. He's at Sunhill now. Oh, straight thought Mike had died, that well. It gets worse. The disturbance at the doctor's surgery, it sounds like it was Paul. Yeah? Well, he's here. Came back about ten minutes ago. Paul? No, it's not his fault. Paul! Come here! Come here! Come here, come here. Right, just calm down. Calm down. Now, what have you been up to you this morning? You're so packy, Cal. I beg your pardon. She killed my mum. All right, all right, all right. Come on, let's take you back indoors, eh? Oh, shit. Hey. Now, just, just take it easy, all right? She killed my mum. Right, we'll send that straight down to you, okay? Right, what's the story, George? Uh, this is Paul Haggerty, Sarge. He's 14. His mother was found dead this morning. Uh, later on, there was an incident. Doctor Sirita made there was surgery. All right, calm down. He's admitted the offence. She's a murdering cow. All right, Oi. Oi. easy. Come here. Come here. Take yes, hands. hello, custody. Take <laughs> you must be joking. No, I'm sorry. We're full up. It's just the way it is. What's up? It's only Stafford Row. Wanted to send three of theirs over Oi. here. I mean, once we've got him. Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh, sorry, Sarge. You're not listening to me. Come here. Come here. Well, listen, just calm down. Like father, like son. Well, I hope not. For you. Do you understand what I'm telling you? So, nothing on Paul. Let's look at his dad. Right. Roger Haggerty. Uh, yeah. Conviction for drink driving, disqual for a year, and... Oh, you like this, George. Two other offences, but they didn't get to court. Yeah? Yeah, domestic violence. Kicked his wife down the stairs. Oh, uh, well, there's a surprise. There you go. Uh, didn't you bring one for me, Paul? You haven't got time, George. They picked up Mrs Haggerty's body. Norika's bringing Alison in. Oh, got the full set. Yeah. yeah. The kid says it's the doctor's fault. The doctor blames the father. The daughter seems to think the mother brought it all on herself. But the corpse, well, she ain't blaming anyone, is she? Because she's dead. Haven't you got any feelings? What's your problem, Mr Haggerty? I don't feel well, and I want to see my daughter. Mr. Haggerty, you had 140 micrograms of alcohol in 100 millilitres of breath. You also assaulted a police officer. You're staying put. You're not married, are you? No, I'd marry you, miserable old trout. What's your point, Mr. Haggerty? I'm cold, I'm tired, and I want my daughter. Get it! Yeah, that man thinks about nothing but himself. Let's hope the sister don't take a shot at you as well, Sarge. Patrick, yeah. It happens to a lot of women. Yeah, but it doesn't have to, does it? You can just say, I'm not putting up with this, can't you? You can leave. It's not that easy. Oh, you're the expert. You know, I think she did it. Why? Because she thought she might still have to have her breast removed. She was scared he wouldn't love her with only one tit. He would. My dad's a complete loser, right? It's like she never noticed. And he just carried on with playing God. Eureka? Alison Haggerty, Sarge. Hello, Alison. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. Are you? Why? You didn't know her. Alison. I haven't felt anything all morning. You know what I feel like now? Come on, let's sit down. Angry. Hey. Do they all deserve each other or what? So, Paul, why did you go to Dr Nadu's surgery this morning? He didn't mean any harm. 
I'd like to hear it from him, please, Alison. Paul? It was her gave Mum the pills. All those pills for years and years. I mean, if she hadn't have done that, Mum would still be here. Doctors aren't supposed to kill people, are they? Oh, this old nonsense again. Alison, may I remind you that you are here in the capacity of appropriate adult. Your role is to be with your brother, not to speak for him. Now, Paul. Mum went to see the doctor just about every week. She told her her nerves were bad. <laughs> nerves? We could all have blinking nerves. Please. Cos Mum, she got fat. Well, she thought she was fat. But she wasn't really. And then she found that lump and things with Dad started getting bad. Started? If only. Oh, if, if! If the sun had shone at midnight and we'd had roses round the door, she was a saddie, Paul. That's enough. She didn't have to stay, did she? She could have left, she could have taken us with her. It was her choice. Excuse me. Yes, madam. I'd like to see WPC data. Sure. I could see the pill she got from the doctor. Otherwise, I wouldn't have realised something was wrong. Apart from the fact that the door was open. Or the back room door? Yeah. Mum tries to keep it shut, see? Because a cat weed on the settee and Dad went mad. So you went in? I knew she was dead. She was all grey. You sat there for two hours. Two hours till I got in. It was all right, though. Honest. Where was your father, Paul? He went out. They had a row and he went out. Yeah? What did they row about? Don't know. Usual things. What are the usual things, Paul? It's not his fault! It's the doctor's fault. She gave Mum the pills. I think I'm going to be sick in a minute. Yeah, you better stop now. He will be and all. OK, yeah, interview suspended at 12.48. Do the necessary, George. Sir. Can't you see? He's not going to blame my dad. Or Mum come to that. Yeah, but yeah, you Yeah, sure, don't... ask me. My dad's a drunk, my mum's a stupid cow. No, don't. Paul here. He'd rather do anything than think badly of either of them. Yes. I've decided I won't press charges against Paul Haggerty. He's only a kid and he's got good reason to be upset. He's made a very serious allegation against you, Doctor. Have you talked to Roger Haggerty yet? Yes. Did you know he was violent towards his wife? I guessed as much. Do you She's think... an alcoholic's wife. Alison and Paul are alcoholic's children. End of story, really. So? Yeah? Got a Mrs Parkinson on here. She's the receptionist down at the Larkway Health Centre. She had a letter come in the second post for a Dr Naidu. Hold up. That's Haggerty again, so it's all ready to go. Yeah, it's all right. I'll go. interview room here with your son. Is he blaming me? I really have no idea. Nobody can make anyone else commit suicide. It's a well-known fact. It's emotional blackmail. Shut up. Sir, I've just been talking to Dr Naidu. She doesn't want to press charges against Paul. Oh, really? What about his wild allegations? Well, it's true she had his mother on tranks for the last ten years, but that's probably true of every doctor in the country. Not guilty, then? Not on paper, sir. Mrs Haggerty would have to have taken at least a hundred pills anyway. Uh, I'll just take them through the gents, sir. OK. They all want to know who done it, don't they? It's not like that. No? What is it like, Alison? It's just a mess, that's all. Pointless, cruddy, horrible mess. There you go. Uh, if you're bringing us more Haggerty's, sir, we're not interested. Yeah, we're all Haggerty's out in here, sir. <laughs> Show the note, Marika. Came in the post to Dr Naidu. I'm looking in the mirror and I can't stand it. I know you think I'm stupid, but I don't feel like a proper woman anymore. A mastectomy, was it? Well, just a little scar, apparently. Yeah, it obviously looked as big as a house to her. Or to her husband. I couldn't live if Roger left me. He's all I've got. Ugh, apart from her kids. Yeah, well, she obviously put her husband first. Yeah, it takes all sorts. Oh, love is a many splendid thing, Norika. You know what, George? I think you've given me your cold. Excuse me. Yeah. There's still the assault on you, June. Well, like I said, sir, I'll leave. You feeling better now? I was just thinking. 
If I'd have banked off like Mum wanted, I would have been there. It wouldn't have happened. Your mum encouraged you to play truant? Well... George? Oh. Sarge? Come in here a minute. Well, Michael, will you tell George what you were telling me? Bumped off a whole term once. Oh, yeah? What did your dad have to say about that? Alison got really cross when she found out. She said she'd stop making my sandwiches. Look, you mustn't blame yourself, you know? Yeah, but if I'd have been there... Whoever's to blame, it's not you. Alison, uh, Paul will be ready to go in a couple of minutes. Oh, I can take him home and feed him. He's always angry, that one. Hard to find time for your own life, eh? Tell me about it. Still, it makes me feel useful, I suppose. Useful? Oh, what, like slaves are useful, you mean? Yeah, all right, I get your point. <laughs> Can't you go home to bed? A uh, couple of minutes with a bit of luck. Right, here he is. There you are, you scruffy little tyke. What about my dad? Uh, I'm afraid he's not going anywhere for a bit. We've got to wait for him to sober up and then we'll be interviewing him. Well, I can't go home if he's still here. We'll have to wait. Oh, no. Well, we only needed you here before because Paul's a minor. You were his appropriate adult, whereas now... He needs me. He relies on me. I mean, he'll go mad if I'm not here. Oh, you just tell your sister she's got enough to do. <laughs> he says I've got to get a life. No. No, that's not exactly what I said. Near enough. What was it you called me earlier? An appropriate adult? Yes. Good at that, aren't I? Come on now, let's go home. <laughs> Bless you. Got a cold? George, I'll kill him. Don't give it to me. <laughs> so, why should you do it then? I think if I was married to a bloke like that, my hold on life might be a bit dicky too. Successful day? For getting away with murder, yeah. You decided it was a suicide? Yeah, well, I don't know about that, Matthew. I think his score so far is one down and two to go. Oh, well, not to worry. He'll burn in hell. What's that? Bedtime reading? Police and Criminal Evidence Act. Code C, Section 8.10. You know it, Dave? No. People detained should be visited every hour. See ya. And those who are drunk at least every half hour. Well, I know the next bit. A person who is drunk should be roused and spoken to on each occasion. Wake up, you waste of space! What? Oh, my head. Yeah, well, you've only yourself to blame. 